You know, we, we get so busy in, in the mayhem of life every day that sometimes we forget that we stand on the shoulders of giants. I'm particularly impressed by what the young men and women did in the early 19 and mid 1940s during World War II. Probably the greatest military operation that was ever undertaken was the Normandy invasion. My father served in the Normandy invasion under General Eisenhower. The night before the invasion, General Eisenhower wrote a letter and had it put in the hands of each of the troops. I'd like to read you that letter. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Ex Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. You will bring about the destruction of the German war machine the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed people of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940 and 1941. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Dwight Eisenhower. The next morning, the Allies stormed the beach of Normandy. The war was eventually run, won because of this great effort. And today, we're free. God bless you.